renting versus buying and how to decide. Well, let's go over some of the pros and cons of each option to determine when buying is better than renting. And we're here to help you figure out if you're ready to buy a house. Finally, we'll explore which loans are best for first time home buyers. So let me clear the air before we dive into the nitty gritty. Renting and buying both have their sets of advantages and disadvantages. So let's explore them. What are the pros of renting? Flexibility. Renting offers great freedom to move without the hassle of selling a property. Lower upfront costs. Renting, generally speaking, requires a lower upfront cost. Well, that's your security deposit and first month's rent, whereas buying a home comes with a down payment, closing costs, and other fees. Now let's talk about the responsibilities. As a renter, you aren't really responsible for the maintenance or repairs, which are usually handled by the landlord. Now, what are some of the cons of renting? Some of the cons of renting include no equity. Renters do not build equity in their homes, meaning they don't benefit from the property value increases. They have very limited control. Renters have less freedom to customize their living spaces and they are subject to the landlord's rules. Rent fluctuations, which is my favorite, rent prices can increase over time, making it difficult to budget long term. Now let's talk about some of the pros of buying a home. Biggest one is building equity. As a homeowner, you'll build equity as you pay off your mortgage, and as property values increase. Second, the tax benefits. Homeowners often benefit from tax deductions related to mortgage interest and property taxes. Third, stability and control. Owning a home provides a sense of stability and the freedom to change your living spaces as you see fit. Now, what are some of the cons of buying a house. And yes, there are some cons. Now there's higher upfront costs. Buying a home comes with a down payment, as mentioned, closing costs and other fees that can be pretty expensive. Of course, we have maintenance and repairs responsibilities, which are my favorites. Homeowners are responsible for all maintenance and repairs, which can costly and honestly time consuming and just love those Saturday and Sunday mornings fixing stuff. Now, another con is less mobility. Selling a home can be a lengthy process, which in return makes it somewhat harder for homeowners to move quickly. So if you need to get up and move, it might be difficult if you needed to extract those funds or take out those funds to uh, move into your uh, new property. So when is buying a home better than renting a home? And at what point does it make sense for you? So this honestly depends on your specific situation. So we have to consider some of the factors. So we have to consider the following factors. Now, the length of stay. If you plan to stay in the same area for at least five years, buying may be a better option for you as you'll have time to build equity and potentially offset the initial cost of purchasing a home. Market conditions. When mortgage rates are low, and property values are expected to increase, buying can be more advantageous. Now we have affordability. If you can afford a down payment, monthly mortgage payments, and other homeownership costs, buying may be a better option for your situation. So now let's talk about how do you know if you are? How do you know if you are ready? So to determine if you're ready to buy a house, let's consider the following. Do you have financial stability? So this means that you, you have a stable income, good credit or decent credit, a healthy emergency fund before considering homeownership. Down payment and closing costs, as we said, aim to have enough saved for a down payment. Now remember, there are some programs that will let you buy a house with zero out of pocket, zero down payment out of pocket. And there are others that require a minimum of three to 5% down, but be prepared to commit to the location and property for an extended period of time as buying and selling a home can be expensive and time consuming. I should know I have moved three times in the last four years. My wife loves me. It's time consuming. It's taxing the whole party as a whole. Now let's talk about which loans are best for first time home buyers. So for first time home buyers, 
know, we have several loan options that can make the process easier or just more accessible to the funds, right? And first, and the one that everybody considers the first time home buyer uh, program is the FHA loan. So these are government backed loans and they offer low down payment options as low as three and a half percent. And they have more relaxed credit criteria, making them ideal for first time home buyers with limited savings or less than perfect credit as mentioned. Next, we have USDA loans. Now, USDA loans, they're eligible for individuals in rural areas. So USDA loans offer 100% financing and very, very competitive interest rates with no down payment required as mentioned. Now, this is for some individuals. Uh, it's a VA loan, and this is only for um, eligible veterans and active duty military personnel. So VA loans, uh, just like the USDA loan, offer a 100% financing, no down payment requirements, and honestly, rates are great for uh, our veterans. And we also have the conventional loan. So this is uh, for first-time home buyers with good credit and a substantial down payment, but you don't need the 20% down to buy a home conventionally. Only if you want to get rid of your mortgage insurance, you put 20% down. They typically have less fees than an FHA loan and are more competitive in interest rates than government-backed options. So consider these when you are thinking um, about buying if you are a first-time home buyer. So guys, I hope the information that I have provided for you was somewhat informative. And just remember, Deciding between renting and buying depends on your unique situation, your financial stability, and what are your short and long-term plans. So you need to carefully evaluate the pros and cons of each option and consider factors like the length of stay, as I mentioned, market conditions, which are huge, and affordability. Once you determine that you are ready to buy a home, explore various loan options that cater to first time home buyers. And my favorite, consult with a mortgage professional to find the best fit for your situation. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode um, as we talked about buying versus renting and how to decide. We hope you found this information helpful, that it will guide you to making the best decision for your future. And guys, I'm really excited that you guys are listening because um, this, I, I believe and I truly am passionate about first time home buyers and um, really giving them clear and actionable steps for them to become homeowners. Um, because after all, that is the American dream. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.